Hello guys, how are y'all? Yo, our little crew kit. <sighs> Hold on, because I know some folks are a little OCD and they're going to be like, why couldn't you have just framed yourself between the scrollies there? It's good for my OCD too. Okay, okay. Anywho, it is Saturday. It's Saturday, 10.30. Little dude just got picked up about an hour ago. Um, his dad had to work and... They just desperately wanted to see each other, so he didn't get picked up till about an hour ago. So the majority of the day, me and little dude just kind of spent lazying around. It was so freaking hot. It was 103 with the heat index of 111, 112. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. It is just, it was, it was not good. Uh, we did uh, play outside in the water hose again and made mud puddles and killed more friggin wasps or hornets i don't know what the heck these things are they're huge and they're red is that a bee is that a wasp i don't know i've seen black wasps whatever they're building their huge honeycombs everywhere all along the eaves of my friggin house and they were buzzing a little too close for comfort yesterday so we went on a beehive hunt and sure enough at the very very, very top of my friggin roof line or eaves there was a big one with lots of bee activity. The same red, mean little farts that kept zooming us. So, got rid of it. Uh, they dropped like dead flies. And uh, we were out there a little while, but even with the sprinklers on, you could feel the heat on every part of you that wasn't being drenched every second. Like, it was like, oh, no, we're going to go in. So, we came in. And uh, I prepped a few things uh, from a grocery haul. I went to the grocery store yesterday, Friday. I stopped by a little grocery store by my mom's house and found some things that I am really excited about and I wanted to show you guys uh, just because. Um, I got my Ipsy in the mail, but it didn't come in the mailbox. They actually dropped it off at my door, which is weird because Ipsy has never been dropped off at my door. But it's my last Ipsy because I am not... Um, Paying for next month. I'm so disappointed with the stuff they've been sending. It's the same friggin' eyeliner. It's the same shade of lipstick. And it's a lot of um, masks and masks that I'm too afraid to use because of my allergies. And I let it see, you know, I wasn't interested in that crap. And they keep sending it. But anywho, um, I also wanted to review, do a little review of some, an item that I purchased at 99 cent only that I was fighting with earlier today, but it worked out. Okay, guys, while my head is in the game, I wanted to do a review on these silicone stretch lids that I picked up at the 99 cent only. Forgive the water. Um, I got watermelon juice all over it, and then I had to rinse it off. But you get get six pieces of stretch lids for $1.99, which I thought was an awesome price. And I had this random little bowl that I had queso fresco in that I needed to cover and then this regular standard little cereal bowl that has watermelon hunks in it. So this was the first one that I tried. Um, I attempted to use the tiniest one because they just make it sound like they'll stretch and stretch and stretch. Lies on lies. I think this would be good for like a glass, like to cover a cup or the top of a glass with. Uh, cause I tried to stretch this little sucker and it didn't work. The next big, next bigger size, uh, worked, but after I wrestled with it for a good three or four minutes, I would get one side on and stretch it and it would pop off and it, that went on and on and on for a while. I think it might have had to do with the fact that the bowl was a little bit wet, but eventually with a little practice, I got it on. Um, this is pretty much the same size bowl. So this was the next size up, and this one went on with no problem at all. So my review is they don't stretch as much as you think, okay? They really don't. Unless you have an extra set of hands helping you pull in the opposite direction, and y'all just lay it on there, it ain't going to work. Unless y'all got some super muscle strength, it ain't going to work. I don't have muscle strength, okay? So it's pretty much just like putting on the right size lid, there's not that much stretch. Um, what well, they stretch, but mm, if you want a super stretch, you're gonna fight with them. But they are nice and sturdy. Um, they seem to be working okay. I'm gonna put this stuff back in the refrigerator. Um, I am curious to see if this would fit over a glass. So hang on. Okay, I'm super curious 
This is the smallest size, and let's see. Oh, I don't have anything to set it on. Well, let's just see. See, it does have some stretch, but I, in my own little mind, was led to believe that the stretch would be more. So, okay, I'm right. It would cover the top of your little standard drinking glass. So, okay, this will be good for something like this, or maybe something like this. A coffee cup, maybe. Ooh, not my coffee cups. My coffee cups are pretty huge. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. It is a good deal for $1.99, honestly. But, FYI, if you guys are going to purchase them, just know they don't stretch way more than the covering uh, you're trying to cover. Does that make sense? The opening that you're trying to cover. Let's move on. Let's see what else I got going on today. Um, I have a little something in here that uh, I'm going to try and attempt to put in the ground tomorrow. So let me shut up and let's get into this little grocery haul. Um, very small. I grabbed some ranch style beans because at that moment it just sounded delicious. I'm not big on the beans, but I have been wanting to grill, even if it is 100 plus degrees. Uh, so I may do that for myself tomorrow. Little burger, little dog. I'm not sure. Maybe some ranch style beans, but whatever. Picked up some linguine because little dude is partial to the thicker noodle. Picked up some ragu. And the reason I was excited about this was because this store for the Dallas Fort Worth folks uh, is called Price Saver. And they ain't lying, okay? They have really good selection. Well, depending on which store you go to because I've gone to a few others and they're a little, they're not the most modern uh, of grocery store. And usually they're in kind of the hood areas of Dallas and Fort Worth, kind of in the, in the hood, the barrio, okay? So um, don't expect anything fancy. It's a grocery store that's well stocked. Their meat prices are really, really good, I think. And their stuff like this, they're very partial to 88 for some reason. I think these were like a dollar this was a few cents over a dollar that's even cheaper than walmart or winko um i just like their prices i got more kool-aid because y'all know if y'all know y'all know i finally found the down home original fideo okay you guys i make fideo all the time but i have been having to buy fideo different brands moderna uh, Goya, just brands that I'm not really familiar with because this is what I grew up on and this is what I prefer. But I can't find this at Walmart or Kroger. I can only find this in the little stores in the barrio, in the hood. So I grabbed two of them because little dude really likes Fidel. And I was just so excited. I probably should have grabbed more because I think they're like 35 cents. Well, that'll do. I got some snack packs, which you can find at the 99 cent only and Dollar Tree for a dollar. These were 88 cents. The lemon, because I like to crumble uh, graham crackers on top and go to town. I got some chocolate ones for little dude, because every now and then he has a hankering for some pudding and figured 88 cents, something nice and cold out of the fridge after we come in from playing outside. It'll be awesome. I got some polar peach fruit preserves. I am googly gaga over a peach peach preserve and this polar brand is awesome and it's only a dollar at 99 cent only and the dollar tree 88 cents at price saver price saver i think so i found some blackburn's red plum jelly which i got super excited about because i'm a little bougie and i love the plum of it all i've never had blackburn's i've had uh syrup from blackburn's but i've never tried their jellies but i just thought it would be nice to have so i can smear on a little bit of cheese or smear on a cracker I have been wanting to try these, but because the way I was raised, I make my own of this stuff. Uh, but in a pinch, if you need it, it'll just make cooking just a little faster. And people that use it swear by it. This is the Goya Sofrito. Uh, this is a combination of green peppers, onions, cilantro, and garlic in olive oil. I do not like olive oil, so whenever I make my own little sofrito, I do vegetable oil, honey. So I'm hoping the olive oil isn't too overpowering because I've never tried it. But it is a go-to for a lot of people when they're doing like stews and beans and that type of thing. Throw it in rice. Uh, so I figured let me go on ahead and give this Goya thing a try. Save me a few little steps. 
And then I got the, and I don't even know how to pronounce this. And I'm Mexican. I don't know how to pronounce this. This is also a cooking base. Recaito. 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 Yo, my Latinos, tell me, how do you pronounce that? Am I pronouncing it right? Recaito. Recaito. It's another uh, cooking base, but this is uh, cilantro base. This has cilantro, green peppers, onions. So you got your green and you got your red. Okay. You don't dip your chips in this crap, okay? You cook with it. Please don't think this is like a salsa. You cook with these. And I can't wait to try them, honestly. I think it'll be cool. I found something that I'm going to do a taste test on. I was super duper excited because I have been watching YouTubers eating uh, strange or... Not, maybe not strange, but just tropical fruits and stuff that I don't have. I don't know if I had told you guys or maybe I was telling my mom and my sister. There is a fruit out there called a mame. In Spanish, it's called mame. Um, in English, it's called um, sapo de la zapote. I don't know. In Spanish, it's a mame. It's a big, round, brown um, fruit that they say is the texture and flavor of candied yams, like candied sweet yams. I have found my maize at the grocery store before, but they're very, very expensive, and I don't want to spend that much money on them if they're not going to be good, and I hadn't done enough research to know how to pick one. Well, look what I found. Cui Power Drink. Sopa de Zapote. This is the mame. Okay? This is the mame juice drink with pulp. So, I know it's not the same as the fruit, but I'll be able to get a bit of the fruit in the pulp and finally taste what the heck it tastes like. So I grabbed that one. And I think these were like 75 cents. I found a lychee. Now, that other brand of lychee that I've purchased, I think I found it in, oh, I can't remember the brand. It's been years ago, but I was excited to find a lychee one. So I grabbed a lychee that also has the pulp. Two other fruits that I have been wanting to try because I am watching obsessively people eat these things on YouTube are the soursop called a guanabana in Spanish, guana, guanabana. If y'all don't know what the heck I'm talking about, do Google or YouTube uh, soursop, you know, soursop tasting or just soursop. They have described the flesh of this fruit as a banana and pineapple having a baby and you just scoop it out and eat it. I cannot freaking wait. It's a little tart because of the pineapple essence of it, but the texture is sweet and soft like a banana. Man, let me tell y'all, I've never seen a sour stop at a grocery store, but I saw the juice with pulp, so I'm gonna give that a shot. And then the other thing I've always wanted to try, even though it looks really gross, YouTube passion fruit looks like kind of boogery bunch of little seeds covered in booger but this is passion fruit in Eng in spanish it's called maracuya maracuya okay i'm learning something also with the pulp so i'm going to do taste testing not all at once because if i'm allergic i don't want to die so what i'm going to do is i'm going to chill them and then throughout other videos that i put in i'll like squeeze in a little taste test of these i still have my dragon fruit and mango ones in the refrigerator. The only other things that I purchased were not grocery related. I found some Chase's spray disinfectant. As much Lysol as I've been using with our thrifted things, I keep running out and that crap ain't cheap. These were 88 cents. Um, kills cold and flu viruses. I've read some comparisons and they say they can compare, they compare to, uh, to Lysol. So I bought two of them. 88 cents and then I got two of these little um, food uh, storage containers with a little triad splits in them and those were 88 cents so that's all of that um, I don't know what else I'm gonna get myself into today or not even today because it's late I want to do a cooking video tomorrow I want to make Miss Ginger, where are you, honey? Is it Loco Moco? Moco Loco? It's a Hawaiian, uh, traditional Hawaiian comfort food. It's um, white rice with a beef patty slathered in gravy with a fried egg on top. I've been wanting to try that since my big dude got um, went away and is on the island, you know, off 
off, off, off in Hawaii. I've been wanting to try it because he really enjoyed it, and I've been wanting to try it. So I wanted, I have everything to make it. I want to do that, and then I wanted to make some empanadas. I bought the Goya discs so long ago, and they're still in the freezer. So I've been wanting empanadas. So I want to do a cooking video tomorrow, so y'all might see that. And the only other thing for tonight, I guess, is this Ipsy. Let's see what the heck is going on with the Ipsy. Oh, and let's check the progress of these seeds. I don't want to go on too long because my phone is tripping. Y'all know how that is. Okay. It's open. It's open. It's this iridescent plastic baggie. Uh, now, Ipsy gives you a choice of what you want every month. And I chose this brush just because I'm sick of the crap they were choosing for me. I chose this brush. I think it's really pretty. It's Moda brand. It's an angled, angled blush, but it's small. I mean, I guess if I was a skinny mini, this is more like for contour. Look how thin that is. This is not a blush. But anywho, I picked, ew, that does not smell good. I picked it because it was different. So grab that. The bag is kind of retro disco. I got an Estate Going Nutty Pressed Bronzer. Let's see what that's all about. Again. They keep sending the same stuff. How much friggin' bronzer? How much black felt eyeliner? How many masks do you think I need? When I've specifically told you guys, I'm not interested in some of this stuff. I'm complaining to y'all like if y'all are ipsy watching. So there's that clarifying cleanser. Murad Acne Control Clarifying Cleanser. Y'all know I got spots. Murad is a good brand, so I might actually try that. Okay, I don't feel too bad. What is this itty bitty thing? Araceli Jalisco Eyes. Oh, sounds like a Latino brand. Hey. But see, very pretty. But if I were to line up all the little items that they've sent me in this shade, yes, guys, I said I like neutral, but neutral does not mean all tan, okay? Kaleido Cosmetics, my skin, illuminating, illuminating, illuminator. Yeah, I'm not going to miss it, honestly. I mean, I, I would still get excited when I would get, like, a full-size lipstick or something like that. That was cool, but see, same thing. It's like you can only go so long when until you're just like, I'm over it. I'm not getting anything different. So that's it. That's it. So that's all I got in there. Um, it was a nice run, Ipsy, but it's over. See ya when I see ya. And I'm not really that into makeup to want to like um, get onto another one, another little mail order thing. But so that's that. Okay, let me see what is going on with these seeds. These are my lychee seeds from the lychees I bought last time. And I did the same thing I did with my lemon seeds. I soaked them, then I wrapped them up in a plastic, uh, in a paper towel, set them in a plastic bag, and would keep the towel moist. I think I did five or six. What a nasty word. Y'all know I don't like that word. Okay, I did one, two, three, four, five, six. I did, whoa, I did six. There they are. Let's see if any of them sprouted. I think right away, I see one, look, I see one sprouted. This sprouted, but it looks kind of brownish. We'll try that one. This one looks like it's splitting. Like it's trying to do something. This one has a tiny little split. Maybe something will come from that. But these two don't look like anything. And they've been sitting in here for like eight days. So when I get out in the yard tomorrow, I'm gonna plant those little, the two that have sprouted and see what I grow. My little lemon seed started growing really cute and really pretty, and I was so excited and so happy. And then the little thing uh, turned brown and died. And I was watering it, and I had it in the windowsill and everything. But anywho, that's everything for tonight. Um, I'm going to go finish watching SUV to the last episode, and then I'll probably put on some 80s movies. And I will see you guys again tomorrow sometime, either for a cooking video or me running around outside trying to avoid being stung by winged assassins. But until my next forum, I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. Stay cool. Don't be no hero out in this freaking heat, okay? It ain't worth it. So, till I see y'all tomorrow, I love y'all bunches. Bye!